The Chubu region was much like a roller coaster ride for me, as I went up to some great peaks and dipped to some equally amazing lows. I've passed my halfway mark of my journey via the rail tracks, and I'm geared up to see what else Japan has in store for me. Aboard the Shinkansen, my first stop in Kinki is two hours away from Shinfuji Station in Chubu. Being home to the likes of Osaka and Kyoto among others, Kinki, which is also called Kansai, is a popular Japanese destination among travelers after the Kanto region. Osaka is a bustling city with sprawling leisurely hotspots and skyscrapers, often under one roof such as where I'm meeting my friend Sayano for today. Osaka native Sayano is a bunning actress who's also a self-professed shopaholic. Here we go! <laughs> Spanning over 100,000 square meters of retail space, the Abeno Harakasu Kintetsu department store is the largest of its kind in Japan. Man, this girl can shop! And the retail paradise here only scratches the surface of this place because the Abeno Harakasu is also the site of the fantastic observation deck that is Harakasu 300. Look at that sprawling city. That goes on for miles. Now this is Osaka. It's in the Kinki region, also known as Kansai. Kinki is made up of seven prefectures. It used to be the political and cultural center of Japan for many centuries. There you are, Henry. Oh, <laughs> yeah. <The> shopping demon. <laughs> <laughs> Do you always shop like that much? It. Yeah, every girl likes shopping. I like to. Oh, you like to shop? Right, <laughs> so much. But I gotta say, this is awesome. Yeah. It's so cool. Mm -hmm. I thought you were tired, so you, maybe you can have a rest out here. Harukasu 300 meters up. It's kind of making me a little queasy, actually. I'm not gonna lie. After all that like, walking around and shopping, I think I might need some water. So you can <laughs> enjoy the view. From here, you can see as far as Kyoto, the Ikoma mountain range, and even the Kansai International Airport. This is north. Right, so this is north. Yeah. It's great because they actually give you a little map of uh, what you're looking at. Otherwise, this could just be another cityscape to me. So why Harukas? Harukas means like to brighten or clear up. Ah, yes, that's why. They wanted the visitors to feel like exhilaration. So when they're up very, very high, that's mm. It's true. Harukasu 300 also caters a dining area on the 58th floor called Sky Garden 300. I'm tempted to grab a bite there while enjoying the superb view that it flaunts, but Sayano has other plans in store for us in the area of Namba. Pretty cool area, huh? Yeah. How good are you at painting? Uh, I'm alright, I guess. I haven't really had much of a chance to showcase my talents as of yet. But... Okay. Well, let's try something different today. Sounds good. Mm, it's called ukiyo-e, which involves print and painting woodblock. Is this the place? We'd love yes. to try the Japanese... Uh... Oh, that'd be cool. All yeah. right. Oh, man. Mm. That's so detailed. And these, these, are these the originals? Yes. What? 1823? Mm. That is old. So, actually, what is this place? It's Museum of ukiyo -e. So they've collected everything from the past? Yeah. And... It's famous in Osaka. I've got a really good collection. Fantastic. Some 30 Yukioe paintings are displayed in this Kamigata museum, most of which vividly exhibit intense expressions portrayed by kabuki actors. There it is. Wood blocks. Yes. So this is what we're going to be using today. So what's the first step? さいしょはね、このチュルチュルチュルした方をこちらにこう置いていただいて、そしたらこれをね、筆でこういう風にこの出てるとこだけ出しをこう丁寧に。そう、what's the江戸の浮世絵、東京の方の浮世絵はね、歌丸とか北斎とか広重とか風景とか美人画とかそういうのも綺麗なのがありますけど、上方の方はね、90%が役者絵になります。それでね、上方の方から文化は江戸の方に流
is about、uh, kabuki. It's all. What's the link? Karigata no kabuki wa ne, doton bori sugi. Ni kono yoni goza ga atan desu yo goza. Mo zutto shibai goya ga zutto doton bori ni narande mashita no de, so ko de yatte mashita. まあ染料役者の名舞台をここの下で飾っております。So is Yukio Air still going to this day? そういう需要が少ないので、もうほとんどあの専門部門のところがね、足立ちゃんとかね、そういうところが数がもうかすすもうすごく少なくなっておりますね。Sayano and I get a feel of being artists in our own right, and I suppose this is only apt since we're in the arts faction of Dotonbori in the city of Osaka. From central Osaka, I'm making my way to a city that I've been looking forward to visiting for some time now. Once considered the imperial capital, Kyoto is marvelled with the ancient and the modern. It's actually bursting at the seams with historical temples and glorious gardens, all surrounding a very hyper modern city. And so it's no wonder, actually, why people think this place is actually one of the most beautiful cities in Japan. A favourite day trip destination for visitors, Kyoto holds an abundance of offerings from its days as the imperial capital. Now I'm here to visit the castle on Kyoto Second Street. It's more famously known as Nijo Castle. Now it was built by the Tokugawa shoguns to serve as their place of residence when they were in Kyoto. Now it promises to have some absolutely mind-blowing architecture, so it's definitely a must-see if you're in town. This very handsome building behind me is the Ninumaru Palace.、Uh, it was built in the Shorinzukuri style, which is favoured among the warriors back in the day because of its manly kind of finishes. Look at the gold trim and the matte black finish.、Uh, but actually, inside is huge—3,300 square meters, all divided up into, I think. 33 rooms, so、uh, it's a very big palace indeed. The castle was built in 1603 and was originally the official Kyoto home of the first Tokugawa shogun Iyasu, and is a designated UNESCO World Heritage Site since 1994. The furnishing on the inside of the palace is very unique indeed. It's got what is known as nightingale flooring. Now, what that is is actually a defence mechanism in itself.、Uh, it releases a bird-like chirp once stepped on, so people can realise that there's intruders or people sneaking around the palace. Now, once you come out, you're welcomed by this beautiful garden. Extremely tranquil, very beautiful indeed, and much or very far throw from the very rugged exterior of the palace itself. Each of the six buildings making up the Nino Maru Palace are representatives of a samurai's house building style, Buke Fusho in Zukuri, in the Azuchi Momoyama period. There it is, the heart of the castle itself. This is Hon Maru Palace. Interestingly, the original Hon Maru Palace was lost to the Great Fire of Kyoto City in 17. 1988. So what's seen on the grounds today is actually the old Katsura no Miya Palace, which used to be located in the Kyoto Imperial Palace. Next, I head out to meet up with Sayano in Gion, the renowned district of female entertainers, otherwise known as geisha. Historically speaking, why did Gion become such a, a hub of activity?、Um, to accommodate the visitors who go to the Saka Shrine, it's nearby. And I haven't actually seen any of、uh, those special girls. So, but actually, Henry, we can see Michael and Geiko in the evening with full costumes and wandering around the street, and they serve the tea in ochai. Ah, so the the green tea ochai、yeah. houses, right? So, do you think we'll be able to kind of maybe go into one of those and、mm -hmm. like meet one of those girls? Yeah. Yeah. We come upon a tea house that fits our fancy, and take a seat while we wait for the arrival of Koyoshi-san. The Maiko, who will be entertaining us, performing the traditional tea ceremony for guests, is just one of the many skills required of a Maiko who one day wishes to be a Geiko. How does her life revolve around? What, what is her daily practice? So, first, morning, I wake up. Then, this is my head. I'm sleeping at night. I'm sleeping at night. So, sometimes I get a little bit tired. So, I have to rest. So, I have to rest. So, I have to rest. 
あのお稽古着っていうのをあのお稽古用の着物を着てお稽古にをしてもうた後にまに、あ、お化粧やら着物着たりお座敷に行く準備をしてだいたい6時頃からお座敷にをしてもらいます。Do you strive to become a... そうですね、慣れたらよろしいですけど、なかなかやっぱり芸妓さんって、舞妓さんは舞ができたらいいのですけど、芸妓さんになると、まあ、お三味線ができなあかんとか、お笛ができなあかんとか、舞プラスアルファが何かないとあかんので、それにやっぱりお話もある程度できなきまへんし、そう思うとやっぱりね、不安な部分も多いですよね。In the presence of a real Maiko chalks up as one of my fondest experiences here in Kyoto. As a cherry on top, Sayano decided to treat me to a lovely dinner by the beautifully lit banks of the Kamo River. Wow! Look at these treasures! Yeah, let's oh, see. Oh man, you spoil me. So, how was your trip in Kansai? Kansai was awesome. awesome. It was really, really cool. So many Different things to experience. Neji Castle, fantastic. Full and rich of history. I think the one thing that really stood out was the、uh, Maiko、yeah. experience.、Mm. I think that's going to be like the best matcha tea I'm ever, ever going to have.、Uh, what else was there? I've been to Harukasu. That's the one.、Yeah. The view from there was.、Yeah. Kyoto is indeed a beautiful city of sorts, from its masculine castles to the graceful residence of Gion. Coming back here is a must, and I'd definitely love to see it in the spring when the Sakura bloom. I'm heading southeast today to a city most commonly known as Ninja City. Leaving Sayano behind in Kyoto was a great idea because I don't think she'd be able to keep up with my swiftness for today. <coughs> Ninjas need lots of nutrition and energy, so we eat a lot of meat. In my case, I'm gonna take some Iga beef and put it in my belly. <coughs> I'm just gonna walk in this time, this, this is fine. Two ways that I'll be cooking my eager beef today it's going to be sukiyaki and amiyaki.、Um, whilst that, cook, that is cooking,、uh, I'm going to take my sukiyaki meat here and flat fry it, open it up. Oh, look at that. Let that cook. And put some little bit of that soup there. Oh my gosh, that smells so good. Now, with this, I'm going to use a tiny bit of radish. Mix it in there. And I'm gonna try this. Mmm. 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 Alright, whilst that's going down, I'm gonna flip this over a little bit. Oh. I'm gonna add a little bit of seasoning whilst on the grill, a bit of salt. Oh my, this looks amazing.、Oh, perfectly seared, nice and medium rare. Mmm. Eager beef has this really nice. Fine marbling. It's got these thick bits of、uh, fat running through, so it gives you that tenderloin type taste.、Ah, you know what? I can actually feel that meat working already. I think I'm ready for ninja school. Hi! As my sensei Hattori always told me, darkness need not the pity of light. So I'm here in the Iga Ryu, the Venture Force in the Mie Prefecture to learn and hone my ninja skills. Hi! Ooh, house of traps and secret things? <laughs> Sounds like Ninja Playground to me. <laughs> Guys, I'm, I'm, I'm coming in. Here at the House of the Ninja's Art, there are over 400 tools, including authentic dated shuriken on display. I take notes on the methods of entering and exiting a castle undetected, and then some. Explosives, throwing sharp things, really nice armor, grimy things. 
My next lesson is a practical one, mastering the traps and passages used to fool intruders who dare enter the ninja residence. Hello, Yoko. So, welcome. This temple is 200 years old. There are many different traps and passages. But first, this is a warning. The ninja is coming. Be careful. 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 Sorry. It's because you're smaller. It's easy for you. Yoru teki ga tojimari shita ato ni osotte kita ra koko kara soto ni demashita. Usui kami o nimai tsukaun desu. Yoko ni chiisa eki ga tsuite ru node jou ga kakatte ru desu ke domo kore o mochi agemasu. Nikasho douji ni agete soto ni demasu ne. Paper, ninja, door. さっきのところが使えないときはここから外に出ました。地下道の入り口なんです。家の外までつながってました。危ないのでも途中で網張って止めてあります。Huh? What's the secret password? Intruders! Intruders! Okay, urgency. Finally, I observe an enbu and get put to the test on what skills I've absorbed from all of my lessons today. Ah, yes. I do believe I've learned all I can from the great Iga Ryu Museum. Time for me to teleport back into the real world. Even the fastest ninjas need to slow down, so I've come to Koyasan to take a breather and find a bit of peace. More than anything, Mount Koya is the headquarters of the Shingon sect of Japanese Buddhism. Uh, uh, the mountain itself is located in the Wakayama prefecture and is within the areas of a wider UNESCO World Heritage Site. And of course, it is home to this beautiful town, which is very quaint indeed, uh, with over more than 100 different temples. So, perfect place to walk around and lose yourself. Konnichiwa! Brilliant. Perfect little space to cool my own for the next couple of days. So I've got a couple of hours until we have to go to meditation, so uh, I'm going to rest. Koyasan has around 50 temples with lodging for visitors like myself and pilgrims on the Shikoku 88 Temple Pilgrimage, whose start and end point are on this mountain. Shoke Tamura, a monk here at Ekoin Shukubo, kindly sits with me for a chat before our meditation. I think I need some tips. It's my first time meditating. Oh, okay. So what do I need to think of? In this temple, we teach the first level. Mm. And then in this meditation, you need to think nothing. Right. You just count numbers. Get used to it. So empty mm. my mind. I guess. Exactly. So why do people meditate from day to day? More than people, they are very busy. Mm. Right? Every day they wake up, they need to set their hair, they get on train, they need to work. I think people need some moment to think nothing. That's why we teach meditation. So there are benefits for meditating? Exactly. You need to have some moment to be face yourself. So you can reflect on you as a human and as, mm. a, as a person. Mm. But I think we should, we should just put some sort of practice. Led by choke sans soothing speech, my fellow lodgers and I learn about Ajikan meditation, which is performed by concentrating on the Sanskrit letter A and was introduced by the founder of Shingon Buddhism, the monk Kobo Daishi. It was longer than I thought it would be, but um, actually you kind of lose track of time and exactly where you are. You kind of picture a lot of things go through your mind. For me, my travels through Japan and who I've met and where I've been. So yeah, it's a, it's a really, really interesting thing. 
Before I know it, dusk has fallen and as part of my stay here, I'm having a meal typical to the monks called Shojin Ryori. I've got to say, uh, after coming off the end of eating a lot of eager beef and monkeying around as a ninja, this is very, very welcome indeed. I think my body needs to recuperate. So I'm here at a shukubo, which is traditionally, it's temples that offer lodging to pilgrims and those travelers. Um, nowadays, tourists can come and stay and experience and learn how to meditate and live the life. The meals, breakfast and dinner, are all vegetarian, following the Buddhist strict diet regime. But I've got to say, it looks amazing. What's served includes pumpkin mash, sweet chestnuts, some tempura, tofu, mushrooms, rice, and soba. I reckon even the most ardent meat eaters would find this cuisine delicious. With my appetite sufficiently filled, I'm calling it a night as tomorrow is going to be an early day for me. The morning prayers held here are essentially a memorial service for the ancestors of the monks and visitors alike. Feeling like a morning walk, I wander around Okuno Inn Cemetery, which also houses Kobodaishi's mausoleum within it. Now this is the largest cemetery in Japan. It holds over 200,000 different memorials for, for people who have passed away. Uh, the really interesting fact about this place is that anybody can be buried here, as long as they sort of believe in some of the fundamentals that were taught within Buddhism or felt kind of a draw to this area. Now the cemetery itself has thousands of these hundreds of years old Japanese cedar. Absolutely stunning. And they're all numbered because they're protected by the government. They're so old, they range between 200 to 600 years old. And if they get too big, because there's a lot of typhoons within the area, they actually have to cut them down. And they use the wood for either temples or tori, the, the gates. Just walking through here, is absolutely mystifying. It occurs to me that there is a sense of peace that I found here in Montcoya, one that I never realized I was looking for. On top of giving me the chance to live out my dreams of emulating a ninja, I've also been spoiled with some of the most authentic historical relics in human and architectural forms here, as well as, yes, delectable cuisines in the most unexpected of locations. I've only got the region of Kinki to thank for this. Next week on Welcome to the Rail World Japan. You've been traveling in a foreign country for so long, you feel as though that someone's watching you. One of those people should be around here now. I gotta go down this hill.